Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this frame fold card. I actually saw this on Pinterest. It's a little 10 second video that keeps popping up every time I go on. The lady's name I can't pronounce, so I don't want to attempt it on here, but I will link her below so you can go and check out. I don't know if she's made this. I, there was no tutorial that I followed. I just saw her demo in it, like I'm just about to do. And I thought, yeah, I think I know how to do that one. So I've made a five by seven version. So it says, we do not remember days, we remember moments. You can see that lovely little scene and I've used some glossy accents on the wine and the bottle there. And then the sides here, you just pull them out and it will reveal another scene. So it says happy retirement. So it's a really long stretched out card. You've got lots of space here to be able to decorate further. This will suit many occasions. I think it would look really nice with something hanging in the middle here as well. And you can see inside where the message gets flipped. And then as that comes back in again, you can see it all joins up like so. And then on the back, Glossy accents are still drying a bit there, but it says relax again on your retirement. This will fit into one of my box envelopes or a bouncy envelope. I'll link all those throughout the tutorial. This is really easy to make as well. So don't feel like, oh gosh, that looks like it's quite complex. It really isn't. It's four pieces of cardstock and then the frame and uh, then the rest is down to your decoration. So let me show you how to make it. So first of all, you want to cut yourself two pieces of five by six and a half and two pieces of 11 and a half by five. Along the smaller pieces, so the six and a half by five pieces, you want to score along the long side. And you're going to score at half an inch and three inches. And do that on both pieces. You can see half an inch and then three inches. Okay, then the longer pieces, I'll do this one because I added an extra score line on that one. So just ignore that one. But this is the 11 and a half long piece. So you want to score at six and eight and a half. And you'll do that on both pieces. And you see there I've got my six and then eight and a half. I did score at nine, but that didn't work. So, but I'm not going to waste it and that gets hidden. So you want two pieces like that. You then also want to cut yourself two pieces that are six by five. And this is the very front of the card. This is the frame. So two pieces. And then you want to cut this section out. Now, if you've got dies to do it, then just pop a die in the middle and do that the same on both. And then you're going to stick these together to make it nice and strong. This middle section here, I just marked three quarters of an inch in here. You can see my pencil mark and then three quarters of an inch in here again along the bottom. And then I joined them up, so I had pencil lines running down, and then three quarters of an inch here, and then come in three quarters of an inch there, and again along the opposite side, join them up with pencil, and then I had this rectangle in the middle, and I just cut that out with my cutting knife. I just wanted to have a, a an equal frame and all of the rectangle dies that I popped into this because it's a six by five rectangle. It's slightly, it's, it's more of a square rectangle than a, a thinner one, if you know what I mean. So for me, I just preferred having that equal frame. So I've just done that twice. With the second one, I just cut it slightly thinner. I went in a little bit more just to ensure that I did cut them right. You can see now that one just hides just behind. But I'm going to glue these two together with the Kalau all-purpose construction glue. So I just decamp mine into this bottle. It's probably my most asked question is what's in this bottle. I probably should put here maybe a sticker saying this is Kalau. But this is my favourite glue for adding strength and just making the cardstock very stiff. It makes it very strong. So that's what I'm going to stick those two pieces together with. So you want to do that and then we'll start popping all these pieces together. OK, so first of all, with the longest pieces here, you'll have your six inch score line. And then this was that eight and a half. Fold the six one over and just burnish. It should nearly be halfway. You'll have a half an inch section there, although mine looks like I've not cut that straight at all. Have I not scored it? Let's just line that one up there. Okay, like so. And then that one will fold back out. Like this. And that's going to be the piece that pulls out. This is going to be the back of your card or inside the back. And then that will be the very back to write your message. You want to do that on both pieces. So again, just fold that main one in and then the next one back on itself again ignore that I've got that extra score line now you want to stick these back pieces together so you can put the left over the you know the right or the right over the left it really doesn't matter but again I'm going to use my strong glue here okay so you should have 
something like this. So these will fold in. Don't worry that they don't meet. They're not supposed to. And then on the back, you should have these pieces overhanging by half an inch. OK, so you've got that kind of shape. All right. OK, next you've got your smaller pieces here. So you're going to fold this score line so the whole thing folds over again. Don't worry that it doesn't go completely in half. You should have a half inch section there. And then just fold your little tab over like so. Do it again on this one. So you just fold all of that over and then that half inch back over. Now these are going to be like this. So this is the piece that you see when the person will take the card out of the envelope. This frame, actually they're going to stick out that way. So you fold them out like so. The frame is going to stick onto those tabs only. But you've got to make sure that this is all joined. OK, so, yeah, you want to fold those pieces out. So next we can actually know it's going to be best to stick this now onto here. OK, I've done a classic Sam and I went to stick it down and realised that I hadn't hit record again. So what you want to do now. So this is that large piece that we've got. You're going to add glue. You can see where I'd started to apply my glue. So you want to add glue all onto this piece here. OK, and then you're going to take one of these, the ones that are folded with the tab and you want to stick. So you've got your open this side here. You want to line up with this piece. because obviously they're different sizes. So you'll see you have this piece that is longer and that's how you want it, because this is the pieces that are going to join in the middle. So just make sure that all lines up and then again going to add the glue on all of this piece. And then you're going to take this one. Again, you want the folded side facing inside the card. You're going to line up this end with this side here. And then when they lay down flat, they should join nicely. So just you've got wiggle room now to move that around a bit. So just make sure that that joins up perfectly. These then will come out and that will stay attached to the frame. So you should start to have something like that. So you see you've got these two bits that overhang. Just make sure that's all stuck. These pieces overhang but when it all folds down. This whole size is five by seven. OK, so you should now have something that looks like that. So you've got these two bits that are a little bit bigger here. But you'll see when the whole thing folds flat, it will give you that five by seven size. Now you want to either you want to decorate inside. I think I'm going to decorate when it's all together because it's still pretty easy to do. I would rather have it all made and then I can really see how the decoration is going to look. But this now is going to you'll see it should fit. Your frame should fit perfectly over here and this side. And lay flat. And then these are your pull tabs. So I'm going to add my glue now, just these tabs. You don't want to have glue anywhere else. You're not going along the top there or anything. And then if you just keep the whole card flat, you can just sit your frame over the top. And again, you've got some time to just move that around if you need to. Just give that a moment to dry. OK, once it's dry, you should now be able to pull the whole thing out. And then I would just push it down and just reinforce the folds, you know, the little kind of tabs underneath here. But now you've got that flip frame. So we're going to create the two different scenes now. Isn't it cool? I really like it. So it can be displayed just like that or it can be displayed open. So it's another, I'd say quite a showstopper card. OK, I've then got this here which is going to be my my message on the front of the card and i'm going to cut this right down through the middle i might stamp some more onto it as well but i'll give you the measurements so you can go get yours ready so this is four and a quarter by three and a quarter stamp and color and do everything on it and then you'll cut it in half i've then also gone and cut all this pattern paper so that's going to be stuck on these panels so you can ignore that so next you want to open it up and you want to cover these and i'm also going to cover these on the back and this one's going to have a white piece of card for my message and then you've obviously got inside there for your the rest of your scene so i've cut myself four pieces of this pattern paper which is going to go really nice with the scene that i want to create 
I might do a white, I might do a matte and a layer. So depending on how you want to do it, this is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So if you then want to do a matte layer on top, you would then have a piece that's three by four and a half. So again, four pieces of those sizes. This will all eventually go onto my blog, but they're going to go there and there and then on the inside. I think I'm definitely going to add a white frame. It's going to really help that pa uh, pattern paper pop. And then again, I've got four pieces because I'm going to have two here and then two on the back. So these pieces, so the mat layer will be two and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then you'd want to do two by four and a half again for that mat and layer. And then these two pieces are the same. So this is the one that I'm going to stamp now and do the rest of my image to go inside the card here. And this is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. You want two pieces and want the other one to go on the back because you can decorate this and then it's very easy. But you might want to stick this down before you make the card. But look, you've got so much room. It's so easy to get your hand in there. And if you want to decorate that one as well, you'll just need... No, that one's actually a different size. So I'll just give you... I'll work out the measurement for that one. But you'll see now that's going to go in the back there. If you want to do this one, it will be... Um, no, it is the same size because I worked that out. Yeah, it is that size. It's because of this piece. This half inch that overhangs here is... The same as the half inch on this piece that's behind the frame so they both work out the same I probably not explain that very well but just the sizes that i've given you are going to be fine to cover insides there and inside here as well if you want to do all of that so i'm going to get everything stuck down i'm going to stamp and color my inside scene here i've already colored my palm trees you can see how they're already really kind of pop against that white you don't want to do the inside of those ones there because this is going to be stuck onto it. So I think first of all, so you don't confuse yourself, is get that piece done and get that stuck down and then decorate all the other panels. So there is the finished card. You would have seen me colouring everything in, sticking all the mats and layers down. There's actually one of the sizes I gave you is correct for the front, but you don't need four because it is different for the back. So what I would say is look at my blog and I will have all of the measurements listed. It was the larger pieces here. So when you open this, it pops out and you have happy retirement. 
just created that nice scene there but I said to you to cut four pieces of this size and this size but it's not it's different on the backs you can see obviously this fold comes into this area here so just check the blog and I'll go through all that with you but I really love it I think it's a really fun style I love you know just how it looks when they take it out of the envelope there's a bit of bulk to it so you might want to pop this in a box envelope or one of my bouncy envelopes I'll put all of those videos up there and then on the back is I put glossy accents on the uh, wine bottle there and stuff so I don't want to move it around too much but on the back here it says relax on your retirement when someone sees this they're going to even if they open it a bit like this they're going to then pull it out so it's a really easy one for them to follow but obviously it will you know display like that it's got quite a nice look to it as well but yeah I thought it was really really fun so hopefully you like my take on this I'm going to have a look at doing some other sizes I think it's a really fun style so as always I'll link everything in the description box below and um, once I've done the blog I will add all of the measurements onto there for you as well take care and I'll see you again soon bye